All right guys, so this is the first video I'm making with my new VR glasses, Oculus Rift S. And I'm gonna be working in Gravity Sketch. So don't expect anything crazy. I have no idea how to use this program yet, but I'm gonna do my best, all right? So I'm also not aware of what you can see <laughs> on the screen exactly, like which menus, which um, panels and all that stuff but I'm gonna do my best to create something. So I'm gonna first walk you through something that I did a couple of nights ago. This is an experiment that I, I ran pretty late in the night and it came out pretty nice, if you ask me. I managed to create this, okay, it's right here. Oh my God, why does it move like this? Is it because I'm recording? I mean, I expected this this graphics card to do better, to be honest, but um, if you pay attention, this is like a scene that I assembled in like an hour and a half or two hours. And I honestly lost track of time. I had no idea where I was, what time it was. I was just creating, you know, I started with one temple, the one in the middle, uh, then I copied this piece, I put it here, I created this, uh, you know, the mirrored version of this. And this was, my intention here was to replicate this concept that I have in my, in my head about the dreamer's place, you know, the dreamer's tem uh, temple. And, well, I put some, some rocks, some floating rocks here and there, you know. But yeah, this was pretty cool, if you ask me. I, I tried a few different tools I had no idea how to use. Like for instance, this is the ink tool, this is the stroke tool. This is more like for sketching. And what I like from Gravity Sketch is that you can actually edit everything. You know, everything you do can be edited. Edited, oh wow, edited. So like you can grab anything. <laughs> Everything's manipulable, you see? You put it anywhere you want. Uh, and that's like, it feels like a vector based uh, 2D program. You know, if I have to make a comparison to 2D, this is what it feels like. Like for instance, I don't know if you guys have used it, but uh, Illustrator is a program by Adobe, which is mainly used for graphic design because it's so precise for that kind of stuff, you know, and, and it's vector based. So you can always edit any stroke, anything you do, you can create like, uh, different, um, what's that called, anchor points. Uh, so same thing here, you know, it, everything's editable all the time. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I think the, the, <laughs> the most fun part was to come up with these rocks, you know, which are pretty easy to do. Uh, you just, what happened? Oh, oh wow, I n I've never done that before. So, yeah, the cool thing about VR is that you can, you know, wait, you can take these panels and, uh, you, you know, just have them around you as you wish. You can place them around you and you can always have them accessible instead of having them on your, by the way, that's a cool thing to have, you know, like to have a, a clock, like the watch on your wrist. That's pretty cool. Um, another really interesting thing was to use, whoops, this. You see with this, you can create shapes like in a cylindrical way, in a, in a circular fashion like this. You see, this is the center and I think you can change that. So if I press my left trigger, oh yeah, now this is the axis where this is going, you see? So, yeah, I don't know. That's that's pretty cool for different stuff. Like imagine we create now like a like an asteroid impact. But uh, is it low poly? No. Hmm. Oh, I think it's because I was holding it down, perhaps. Yeah, boy, that's so cool. See, 
this is how happy accidents happen. So if I hold down my left trigger, um, this is like a release point now. So it's like an anchor point I'm deciding where. If I release it, it stays there, you know. That's so cool. So if I just leave it there without pressing anything I, and I just do this, you know, you have all this freedom. Whereas if you press the trigger button, you don't, you no longer have that. You know, the next thing you do is you release your trigger and that's it. It stays right there. So, yeah. I'm not sure how good of an experience this is for you guys as a viewer because, uh, you know, this, this, this view, like, it's okay for me, but for you, the ones who have a static camera and are anchored to what I see, this might be pretty uh, dizzy-inducing experience. I hope it's not the case, but... Yeah, so... There are a lot more tools over here. This is the one that I used to do the rocks, for instance, you know? You basically create any kind of shape like this in 3D. <laughs> it's just so cool. And what I like from this is that this scene is not heavy at all. You know, the low FPS that you might be experiencing, which I sure do right now, are due to the fact that I'm recording at the same time. So yeah, it's not so good. I will try to work on this and hopefully I can get to also install my other graphics card and like the old one, you know, and just use that to record stuff, right? So I can use OBS with that graphics card and the rest uh, is all for this new graphics card. So yeah, that'll be one thing. Now I, I, I need to think about the, <laughs> the source as well, like the, the power supply. I'm not sure if you can handle two graphics cards, but yeah, this is, so this is one of them. All right, let me now get to the other one. Mm, there you go. Uh, this is another sketch that I made, which I'm going to show you right away. There it is. So if you guys remember the, the vehicles that we designed in the previous episodes, this is like a 3D representation of that, and it was so cool to work on this in VR. I swear, this is this mannequin option is so cool because it's posable and it has so many anchor points you can manipulate, you can switch around, you can pose it as you wish. And I, I made it so it looks like the character is checking on something right there in that uh, place. And I played around a little bit, you know, this looks like extremely rough, it's a rough sketch, but imagine we take this further and we spend like a couple hours on this model just perfecting everything. There's a tool that I like a lot, which is this one, surface tool. So what you can do with this is that once you press one trigger, right, it opens up this, this curve thing, which you can change according to the position of your controllers. So once you also press the other trigger, it starts drawing stuff, you see, and you can... <laughs> this is really so intuitive. You see this? So this is the tool you would use for stuff like, let's cover this up here, for instance. You see, you do this. Oh, we earn new rewards for our home. That's a cool thing to have, you know? Like the... Um, oh, see, I, I forgot to enable the mirror thing. So now we have to repeat the same thing over here. But instead of doing that, we can just simply press this, come here, mirror. And it should replicate on the other side as well. Yeah, there you go. Same thing here. something and there's a lot of options inside of these menus to <clears throat> let's say you see for low poly or to 
have like a point mode so every time you know now you can sorry if you stop pressing one of the triggers it just releases it but it doesn't do anything you know so you have to press again and it creates those points and now we, we press again and basically this way you have like more control you know other than just simply using your hands and in case they're you know your hands are shaky or you could not control uh, the movement in that precise way you want it so that's the way to go uh, there's a lot more options that I haven't tried yet but this video is just to show you guys what I got so far and well <laughs> yeah it was not my intention to cover these parts so I'm just gonna take them off you know I wanted some exposed parts of the engine or whatever that is because I intended this thing to be like to be inside there or something this these parts have to be folding inside or on the on the back of it you know like this and these ones like this what I like from this is that this is extremely manipulable man it's like everything you do it's easily every stroke that you made it you can easily take it out see this one they move together because I grouped them and that's another cool thing to do you see that's why it's uh, like pink uh, well maybe on your on your screen it will show like purple um, but yeah that's that's what's cool about this and you can still pose everything you see I can make this character kind of point somewhere like over there you know <laughs> or yeah lots of cool stuff man I like this I like this program a lot now how can I come back to the menu yeah cuz that, that this is pretty much all I got you know I don't have much more to show I haven't done much more <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I was looking forward to share with you guys some of the stuff that I, I managed to do with this. And I'm going to record something as soon as I start sketching in, in VR. And I'm going to make a video about the process and all of that. It's probably not as exciting for you guys as it is for me. Because I spend a lot of time tweaking little things. Like for instance, with this sketch that I made here about this temple. There was a lot of exploration in the the starting steps I would say the first steps into this design was like to figure out the shape of this mm, this whole thing this whole building you know I'm gonna make this bigger so you can see where I'm pointing at um, and then I also tried to figure out some <laughs> underground structure in case this runs deep below, which was my intention in the beginning, but yeah, then I started to make this into like tinier details, you know, I started to get like this close, right? You can see these these figures that I intended to be people, you know, and if we, this is what's cool about this, about VR, that you can, I mean, you can do this in any 3D package, but look how easy it was for me to come down here, you know, and look at this as if I'm part of this world. And if I'm a walking person in this area, like, and then you turn around and you're like, wow, dude, you know, you can look at this in first person and I'm sorry about the stairs. These are probably not the best steps I've ever made, but they were just a quick test, you know, and I used this, this brush that I have right now, you see, just to make quick steps like that. Uh, they're not really precise, but let's say you climb this up, you know, and you reach out to this this gate up here and you look upwards and oh my god I made this so huge it's like going through the ceiling of this place <laughs> but this is so cool dude this is so awesome I'm, I'm really excited about this I intended this to be like a river or something running right below this passage you know and yeah, uh, some stuff that I don't know yet is how can I 
delete one of these guys without del deleting the other one because they are mirrored you know when i did them when i made them i didn't realize that it could be as easy as just deleting them you know and making a new one without the mirror but i just want to figure out how can i separate them you know because they're not joined or anything they're not uh merged together or anything they're not grouped but it's still stuff that i don't know you know and i i need to figure that out oh look there's a leg floating in the air <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, then I guess I can also get inside of this, you know, whoa, that's pretty crazy, where I did this internal structure that has like this dome, which I intended it to be like a giant ball of something, you know, uh, this culture is related to the stars as well, so I thought of the interior, the ceiling, especially the ceiling, representing some sort of constellations or you know something like that and yeah <laughs> I don't know guys this is just so cool and I wanted to share it with you real quick so I'm just gonna head out right now and yeah um, I'm gonna quit the app but before let me just get out of here to the whoops you guys can't see what i'm doing right now because i'm like in the main menu of oculus but it still shows you like gravity sketch uh whoops my boy is excited okay i think it's time for a walk <laughs> so i'll see you guys in the next episode all right thank you so much for joining me today uh i'll see you soon bye bye